That's a vertical, huh? Yeah. But it's going to be talking to the band a little bit like your octave came up a little long. But, but you should have felt like it was going to change the pace or anything. Yeah, yeah it's going to be great. You go to the first stop, what are you doing with the Grand Prix? And the other thing is, I was very impressed with the shooting of you. The vertical. The vertical, although he got there a little deep, he stayed off of it. He didn't run into it, he didn't rub it, because he softened up for it. Whoa. How about that? Very good. Let me take the vertical a little bit bigger for us. But, but it wasn't because you were, were at 99 miles an hour and had to, you had a nice camera and that's what you saw. Right. Fine, huh? Yeah. 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 And once again, when you got to the vertical, he left it up because he wasn't dragging. Uh -huh. And then when you went over it, he didn't drag you away from it either. <laughs> well, he didn't think he had to go down and do 99 lead changes today. I want you to know, though, I noticed that you did do a lead change down at that end. And when you did, he stayed soft. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You can't come out here and do those lead changes and have them run away from it, you know? Think about it a little bit. It's not anti-lead change by any means, but we have to have it organized a little bit. Hey, Doc. The rail, the green rail on that oxer, on this side, will you put